welcome back to Brands Hatch for what will be round six of the Radical SR1 Cup coming up very shortly. A great race yesterday in changeable conditions. Better weather today, though. And one of the drivers who's having his first weekend of racing with us, Sam Ashworth, is on the grid. He had a good result yesterday. Let's catch up with him. First ever race weekend. Um, never, ever raced anything, any other series or anything. So, complete rookie. Really pleased with it, loving it. Um, Guys in the paddock are really cool. Really enjoyed meeting everybody. And uh, guys at Radical are good, so yeah, really enjoyed it. The car's fantastic. Takes uh, takes quite a bit to get used to, especially in the wet. You've got to be quite patient on the on the exits to the corners, and you've got to make sure that you don't push too far. Um, but fantastic, really good. Race two, I'm actually starting higher up the grid on race two. Uh, I was P10 today, um, and I'm P7 for race two. So hoping to keep that position and and, and of course push ahead. At least the sun is shining here at Brands Hatch today. And for that man there, Julian Lay, yesterday's race winner, he had to come from eighth on the grid. Second fastest times from qualifying, though. Give us the grid for race two, so he's got to come from ninth for this one. Shane Stoney, once more, sits on pole position. And it's the same front row in reality, because alongside him is Will Hunt on the outside of the front row of the grid. The way the rest of the grid lines up is as follows. After Stoney and Hunt, it's Dean Warriner and Ross Elliott on row two, with Mark Williams and Chris Short, the old Fangio Trophy competitors, on row number three. Leading rookie Sam Ashworth on row number four. Mark Tranter joins him, and it's Julian Lay and Matt Jones on row number five, head of Gavin McAlpine, Paul Clark, David Tagg and Simon Bailey. Well, there's no question about the setup on the cars today. Dry setup is what's needed for round six of the championship. Shane Stoney once more on pole position. Alongside him is Will Hunt. And when the lights go out, which they will do any second now, we get racing underway again. It looks as though it's another good start being made by Ross Elliott, who's trying all the way around the outside, heading up towards turn number one. He did that yesterday and took the lead. We ride on board with Dean Warriner. It all gets rather close ahead of him. Ross Elliott is compromised coming out of the corner. Now Dean Warriner is looking to try and squeeze his way through if he can. Dean Warren are looking for a better result. He ended up in the pit wall yesterday with damage to the car and instant retirement in the tricky conditions. Downhill in towards the braking area for Graham Hill Bend. Shane Stoney leads the race. Will Hunt in second place. We go on board with Julian Lay from ninth on the grid. He's sitting behind the car of Mark Williams at the moment. Mark Williams gets a little bit sideways though. Cold tyres on that car just causing it to move around a little bit but he hung on to the position. Out of Clearways Corner, first lap about to be chalked into the book. Shane Stoney will lead this one. Will Hunt, though, in second place, coming under pressure from Dean Warriner. His track focus prepares car, jinx to the left-hand side, has the run on him, but is on the outside line for Paddock Hill Bend. Is he brave enough? No, side by side through the corner. Good driving by both, but the order remains the same. They head up towards Druids. There's somebody off in the background. In fact, there's two cars through the gravel trap in the background at Paddock Hill Bend. One of them I don't think will be going any further, but the squabble for second and third continues, and it's just allowing Shane Stoney to break away in the lead of the race as Will Hunt sticks his elbows out, tries to keep the aspirations of Dean Warren at bay. That is Chris Short that is out of the race. He's the car that I saw head into the gravel trap, and he will be going no further. That car is not in a particularly safe place either, so may be covered by localised yellows. It may require the safety car to come out potentially as they head up towards that area. Drivers already slowing up and already weaving from side to side to maintain the tyre temperatures. We are going full course caution here and safety car for the first time this weekend in racing for the Radical SR1 Cup while we get that car out of harm's way. Once it's out of the way, we can get racing back underway once more. Shane Stoney leading the pack round under safety car conditions here at Brands Hatch. And he's not the only one that's off as well, because that's Ross Elliott. Let's just have a quick look. Here's the replay. Julian Lay on the coattails of Mark Williams. They head up towards Paddock Hill Bend. Julian Lay breaks as late as he can. Look ahead. There goes Chris Short, almost spinning off in sympathy as Ross Elliott goes a bit further into the gravel and makes contact with the barriers. Julian Lay will still continue racing Mark Williams though until the safety car boards came out. They have now been withdrawn, the cars are cleared out of the way and Shane Stoney is about to get the race back underway again. It looks as though it's a good restart from him actually. Will Hunt a little bit slower away, has left a bit of a gap between himself and the race leader and is putting himself under pressure from Dean Warriner, who in the slipstream is starting to close up here for second and third place as they come over the start finish line. Dean Warriner, he's looking for the inside line, he's going to squeeze his way through, his see, there's almost a bit of contact between the pair of them, but good driving, Dean Warriner through into second and will Will Hunt down into third position there. 
it was a slow restart from him. Already Shane Stoney had got the gap and all of that put him under pressure from the charging Dean Warriner trying to make up for the problems that befell him yesterday. Hence why the car at the front is white rather than grey as a result of the damage when it hit the pit wall yesterday. He's up into second place. Can he build the gap now, though? Here's Mark Williams. Mark Williams sitting in what is fourth position at the moment, but he's got Julian Lay right behind him. Julian Lay is coming under pressure also from Matt Jones, the director from Leicestershire, the wheel of the all-black car, who looked to try and make a move there. Moves one way, then he's going to look to the other. Three cars all busy fighting away, and can Julian Lay unlock the door here? Mark Williams is squeezing him, but Julian Lay is adamant. He wants to go through, grabs the place on the brakes, in the running towards Paddock Hill Bend. So another place gained for yesterday's race winner. That now puts him up into fourth position. Mark Williams is down into fifth. And Matt Jones at the wheel of the all-black car completes the top six at the moment. Downhill, Matt Jones, can he do anything about Mark Williams? He's got the inside line. The door starts to close, though, as the Scotsman thinks about snapping across the front of the black number 77 car. The two of them still side by side along the Cooper Strait. And with good driving from both, eventually the pendulum swings in favour of Matt Jones, who is able to go through and drop that car now of Mark Williams down into sixth position. And already, actually, it looks as though he's beginning to pull away, isn't he, Matt Jones? Already starting to increase the amount of daylight between himself and the car that he had been doing battle with. Over the start-finish line, they'll go on to another tour of the 1.2079 mile Brands Hatch Indy Circuit for round six of the championship. Julian Lay, yesterday's race winner, now getting caught by the look of things. So all of a sudden, Matt Jones seems to be flying here, starting to catch up all of the time. As for the drivers that are fighting down towards the tail end of the field, well, this is a good fight that's going on here. Number 24, Paul Clark, having a great fight with Simon Bailey. This is going to be for something like 10th and 11th positions at this stage of the race. The white car, but with the red wheels, is Simon Bailey. The car with the blue flashes behind him is Paul Clark as they head along the Cooper Strait and are thoroughly enjoying the fact that it's a little bit drier and they can roll their sleeves up and have a real, real fight for the last place inside the top 10. Out of Clearways Corner, up towards Clark Curve, and they're about to chalk another lap into the book again here at Brands Hatch. So through they'll go, Simon Bailey and Paul Clark still busy getting stuck in with each other, but for the moment, it just looks as though Paul Clark is a bit too far away, really, to properly attack on the run in towards Paddock Hill Bend. So he sits behind, he'll try and close the gap a little bit on the brakes, maybe, or maybe just pick up the throttle that little bit earlier. So through towards the right-hander at Druids, the highest part of the circuit, and from there they head down towards the lowest part, that being Graham Hill Bend. Up towards Surtees Corner comes Mark Williams. There under pressure is Mark Tranter, fighting away with Gavin McAlpine. Mark Tranter has so far been the man to beat of the rookie drivers in the field, but he lost out in yesterday's race to Sam Ashworth, who's having his first weekend of racing. But normal service is resumed in this race. Mark Tranter is the leading rookie that we have in the field in his first season of Radical SR1 competition. And he's got his hands rather full, closing in on Mark Williams ahead of him, trying to keep Gavin McAlpine behind him at this stage. Out of Druids, back downhill they'll go. There's a slightly older shaped generation, one Radical SR1, the black car with its day glow flashes in the hands of Mark Tranter, keeping the Gen 2 car at bay as they flick their way round through Surtees Corner, up towards McLaren, then on towards Clearways as they then shift up through the gearbox. Plant your foot on the accelerator, six-speed gearbox mated to this 1340cc Suzuki engine that produces 175 brake horsepower, and for the moment it's just enough for Mark Tranter to hang on to the place. Even if the car behind gets through Gavin McAlpine, he would still be the rookie leader. Here is another fight that we picked up on again. Matt Jones now has really started to reel in yesterday's race winner, Julian Lay. Now, this is for fourth and fifth position, but more importantly, this is for the lead of the Fangio class for the slightly older drivers that we've got in the field. Now, Julian Lay claimed the overall victory yesterday. He is leading the Fangio Trophy Championship points coming into this weekend and would like to ideally hang on to that and if he can increase his championship lead which is what potentially this man is also looking to do Shane Stoney who for the first time yesterday didn't win a Radical SR1 race in 2019 but he's back to potential winning ways today because he's in the lead he's built the advantage he's got the gap and at the moment isn't under any pressure at all for the lead of the race nice and neat and tidy for the man from York 
who's as ever supported by his father Chris who was a very good kart racer back in the 1980s and 1990s now there is a change of position because Mark Trant has now lost out to Sam Ashworth so that now means that the lead of the rookie cup in this race has now changed so that puts Sam Ashworth back into the lead as he was yesterday of the rookie category whilst out front Shane Stoney is still just pressing on he has got more than 10 seconds advantage now between himself and the car of Dean Warrener who got through and ahead of Will Hunt some laps ago so it's really all very much going to plan for Shane Stoney who appeared for the final four races of the 2018 season and made an impression and there's no doubting he has made a big impression in the 2019 season up towards us comes the battle for the lead of the rookie cup Sam Ashworth still fending off the black car with the dayglow flashes in the hands of Mark Tranter can they hang on to it though because Shane Stoney is now heading out of the final corner and is on course for victory number five of the six races we've had so far in this season over the start finish line comes Shane Stoney. He is going to win round six of the 2019 Radical SR1 Cup here at Brands Hatch. And that will further stretch his lead in the championship over Will Hunt, who was lying second coming into this weekend. We go on board with Julian Lay looking to try and put Will Hunt under pressure. Now, this is the squabble for the final step of the podium. Julian Lay gets a run on Will Hunt here, and the order might change on the charge to the line here. Julian Lay really pushing hard to try and grab the place. Can he do it? No, it's just going to be Will Hunt that holds on to third position. Julian Lay will finish in fourth and pick up top honours in the Fangio Trophy. So Shane Stoney from Dean Warren and Will Hunt your podium. Julian Lay, the leading driver in the Fangio Trophy, head of Matt Jones, Mark Williams and Gavin McAlpine. The leading rookie is Sam Ashworth, just ahead of Mark Tranter. And Paul Clark competes the top ten. Simon Bailey and David Tagg were the last of the two finishers. Retirement for Ross Elliott and Chris Short. So the driver's heading towards the podium and they'll be joined by multiple radical champion Bradley Smith, whose company 21 performance have given a prize to the winner of the Rookie Cup and the Fangio Trophy this weekend of a go in their simulator with tuition and data analysis. Fantastic prize for the winners. It, race one was a, a strange one. It was one of those sort of you've got to just uh, take it as it comes and see where it goes. But yeah, race two, we just wanted to try and get... Um, Get where, you know, get a good start and, and see where we were. So we got managed to get a, a, a good start, and then the safety car was pretty much straight away. So, um, you know, we once we got that, once got got behind there for a few laps, and then uh, managed to get a, a good jump on the restart, and then just a matter of just keeping. Uh, Keeping my head down and just and just see where we go from there. You were determined. You could tell is that the effort had gone in to get that car repaired, and you were going to make it count. Absolutely, the team put in a mega effort to get that car ready. We had one minute to go back in the assembly area. Um, Marcus stood down there, excellent effort to get that car ready. Um, it, didn't have time to put it on the flat patch. It wasn't quite right out there, but I made the best of it that I could. It was an easier race this time in that the conditions were a bit more favourable. Um, had a bad start both at the beginning of the race and during the safety car race start as well. Um, it just got away from me. Um, so it was just a damage limitation again, just trying to keep position and get back on the podium. Yeah, it was a difficult start, but I gained a couple of places and then I got past Mark Williams. He got a bit sideways. <laughs> And then I was under pressure a bit and I was in fourth place, but then that guy dropped away and I just kept on. Uh, at the restart, I lost a lot of places, a lot bit of space as well, because Shane got a really good restart and caught everyone else napping, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was a fantastic race. Um, obviously, there was a bit of a duel between me and Mark towards the end, the last sort of 10 laps. And I managed to take him just on the inside of Druids. It was fantastic, yeah, it was great. But he kept on me all the way. <laughs> Well, Brands Hatch has marked the halfway point of the 2019 championship season and already it's a handsome points tally for Shane Stoney over Will Hunt in second place and Julian Lay in third. Chris Short, Matt Jones and Mark Williams will wrap up the top six. In the Fangio Trophy for the slightly older drivers in the field, Julian Lay leads by just 12 points from Chris Short and just a further eight points adrift of that is Matt Jones. It could not be closer as we now head into the second part of the season. The next race is coming up at Snetterton on the 27th of July. Goodbye from Brands Hatch.